I had no idea what I was doing. And I was very upset. I was crying. And I realized, you have to learn English. I was born in Yugoslavia. My father ended up in a concentration camp in Germany, survived four years, was liberated by Americans. I think my mother probably had a war trauma, and it really affected her psychologically a great deal. My mother did not accept anything that wasn't perfect. I had to justify where I was all the time, and uh, I said, my God, I can't live my life like this. I think I'm going to go to Canada. I landed here. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't have a word of English. I worked a graveyard shift at Royal Bank, and then I would go to school and learn English, and then I would go home, sleep. At that same time, I met my husband. We loved each other, and uh, we had nothing. And in 1988, they were talking about government deregulated natural gas and there is a whole new industry that's being born in Canada. So I started selling, had a large group of customers. The cash flow started coming in. I thought, my God, life is beautiful. I got a phone call that no one wants to get. In the middle of the night, my husband was killed uh, in a car accident. The most difficult thing I ever had to do in my life was tell my children they lost a the father. My decision to focus only on my children and my work fundamentally got me where I am. Late 1997, I wake up one morning, I can't move. I got a type of rheumatoid arthritis that affects every single bone in your body. We try chemo, we, we try a number of things. Nothing worked. And then I said, is there anything experimental? The doctor said, yeah, there is a new drug. I got on a drug and I got out of the wheelchair. I have lived the American dream. I really have. The beauty of North America is that it's possible for anyone to do it. Horatio Alger Association member Rebecca McDonald.